this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to add a disclaimer or a disclosure in your WordPress website. So here's a, uh, an article. I want to put a disclaimer right here above my content so that it will look something like this. Here's the disclaimer we're going to add. I'm going to show you how to easily do that without knowing any code. All right, so the first step is going to be to log into your WordPress website. And for the purposes of this video, to help it kind of go smooth, I'm going to I'm going to duplicate this and just make a few tabs so that we can go back to it and uh, see exactly what it is we're doing. Um, you'll want to first add a disclaimer or a disclosure page to your website. Uh, you can do this by highlighting the new tab at the top here and you could go down to page or on the sidebar you can go to pages and add new. Alright and for the title of this we're just gonna call this the uh, we'll just we'll just type in disclosure. And once we've uh, typed in disclosure for the title, I'm going to go ahead and publish that. What that does is it creates the page, and typically it's just going to take the title and put it after your um, after your website's URL. So it'll be like yourwebsite.com forward slash disclosure. Next, I'm going to put some content in my disclosure page. I've already written out the content that I want to put in the page using a Google Doc. So I'm just going to cut and paste this content. Paste it in here. All right. Next, I'm going to add a another block, and we're going to use this just to create the HTML code that we want to use um, that's going to add our disclaimer notice in our website. So I'm going to copy this, and we will paste it here. All right, now we're gonna style this a little bit. I'm gonna just highlight it, and I'll make it, I'll put it in, uh, let's do italic, and let's, uh, I'm gonna try some different font sizes. Here on the right, you've got some different settings you can adjust. Uh, we're gonna try it at uh, 11. That's a little too small, let's go to 14. That looks pretty good. And here we have the color settings. Uh, this is the background color. I'm going to, um, we'll do a very light gray. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay. And now I'm gonna highlight disclaimer page. And I just want these words, I wanna, I wanna create a hyperlink uh, so that people can click on the click on this to view the disclaimer page. So we're gonna click right here to create a link. Since we've already published the page, I could just type in disclosure, and it's gonna find that page for me, and then. Uh, the link settings, I want this to open in a new tab, so I'm going to select that. And then you have to remember to click Apply, otherwise it's not going to save these changes for you. Alright, so now we have our hyperlink right here, and I'm going to update that. Okay, 
and we're going to come back to that. Um, what we're going to use to add this disclaimer within our website is a plugin. Uh, so you want to highlight plugins and go to add new. Then down here in the search bar, I'm going to type in add inserter. All right, here it is here. Um, as you can see, this uh, plugin is already active on the website. If it wasn't active, it would just say install now, something like that. Uh, you would install it, and then uh, you could activate it from this same page. Once you've activated that plugin, it should show up under settings. Here it is down at the bottom. However, if it did not, uh, just go back to the plugins tab and select installed plugins. Now, it should be the close to the top here. Uh, usually they put these in alphabetical order. Here it is, it's our uh, add inserter plugin. And simply click on settings. All right, here is the add inserter plugin. Um, you have all these boxes. This is where you can add different uh, different code. Maybe you've got a uh, piece of code that's for oh, maybe you're an affiliate for Amazon and you wanted to put a uh, some sort of a link that goes to your affiliate link for Amazon. Um, we're going to use box three here for this tutorial. And let's go back to the disclosure page that we created here where we styled our disclosure. And where these three buttons are, I'm going to edit as HTML. And the only thing I'm going to do here is just get this HTML code. I'm going to copy that. And we're going to paste it into the third block of our add inserter plugin. Okay. And I want the disclosure to show up uh, before every post and it, the insertion um, we want to select before content I think it also do before paragraph um, but before we do that let me show you what it currently looks like we'll just go to any article here all right let's select this one Right here it is. We've got the article and it just goes straight into the content. And we just want the uh, disclosure to show up here before our content. So I'm going to go back into the add inserter settings and I'm going to select before content. Okay. After that, we just click on save settings. Okay, now since we've done that, I'm going to refresh this page and hopefully our uh, disclaimer will show up here before our content. There it is. So it just says disclaimer, this post may contain affiliate links, meaning we get a small commission if you make a purchase through our links at no cost to you. For more information, please visit our disclaimer page. And we can click on that. And you will see the disclaimer page that we created. Um, you'll want to remember to go in there and just delete this block. 
uh, but then here's all our content for the disclaimer page. If you have any questions or any suggestions, uh, maybe some other ways that, uh, that you've used to add a disclaimer to your website, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below. And thanks for checking this out.